Um, you know, especially given what we spend a lot of time thinking and working on here at the U.S. Institute of Peace, conflict is natural. There will always be conflict. It occurs. The issue is how well is it managed? And how do you keep it from becoming violent? Because it's once it becomes violent that you have this, the, the terrible humanitarian consequences and outflow of refugees. Um, and so as we think about your comment, David, about how people get to learn to live together, but also the roots of a lot of the refugee crisis, it's how do you ensure that you have the kind of governments that are inclusive and accountable, but that know how to manage conflict um, so that it doesn't become violent. And, and those are tools, those are techniques, those are approaches. Um, there, we, we can do yes. more and we can invest and is there in an, increasing that. Is there a specimen of such a, a government you would point out to us now in an area with, with conflict? I would say that for all the problems we have in the United States, mm -hmm. we have managed to take conflict over and over again and, and enabled it to, in fact, lead to transformative change. The big movements yeah. with women's rights, with environmental, with the, with the, the anti-war movement, I mean, these challenged our system. They ultimately were resolved without convulsive violence that, that tore us apart. Um, Can I just make a 10-second like, yes. point? Yes.